Well hi guys, welcome back to the spare room. This is part three of my little dynamo named Prince construction series or, or build series. I've chain drilled this like we saw in the last video and I've been into this with a file this morning. and blued it up and put a bit of emery tape on it just to get the, the hollow spots out because there was a couple and we've got the top machine round so that took me, I guess, all up probably three hours by the time I chain drilled it and filed it. Bit of a job, but no milling machine. And probably it wouldn't have took a lot less time with the milling machine. But that's that done. Next job is to bore this top hole at 40 millimetres which provides the ring around the top and we'll set him up in the lathe with a just a dead centre in the fore jaw and put some masking tape on here first two or three layers just to stop it marking just a bit of wet and dry to stop it slipping That should effectively stop it marking and we'll set him up in the fore jaw. So a few minutes later I've set this up on a couple of pieces of tool steel here that I've checked for make sure that they are the same same height. I guess ideally I probably should have made a ring to sit this on to, to set it up to get it nice and parallel but I haven't done that so a parallel or a gauge or something is probably the nice way to do it. These two bits of tool steel will do. And I've got it within a couple of thou there or even half a thou probably on that centre. And the next job really is to put a decent centre drill or drill in him and start to bore him out so we'll go ahead and do that and we'll give you a look when we got him nearly to size so another hour and I've bored that out to about 40 millimeters it doesn't matter very much it wants to be even there don't think it's particularly critical and got a reasonable finish in there I think everything's starting to warm up but that's probably mostly because it's about 36 or 38 out there and there's a storm warning but the weather map says we're not going to get any rain so it won't fall off anytime soon so let's slip him out Turn off this big electric motor that's running at my feet and not really doing anything for the room temperature. Run the deburr about him. That dump of steel is nearly too hot to touch and I've used about half a tin of cutting oil on it so I'm going to let that cool all cool down a bit. Bearings aren't hot. And we're going to set the other one up and bore that too. So we're pretty well up to size here on the second hole. I've set him up again on the other centre. And I've spent most of the afternoon boring ass. This is probably the, the longest and involved job on the hole. 
the whole build is this hole because it's an interrupted cut so it's a little bit slow and I reckon this is probably going to be about the final cut so we'll take it nice and steady and slow finish and we might just take another spring cut if it's not looking so good. call that a day. So what I've got here is a huge oily mess and a very hot metal component and a pretty reasonable finish. I'm rather pleased with that so far. This needs to be machined off here. About 25 mil down from the centre line, which is about there. Somebody needs about four millimetres off there. And this needs to be marked through here at 10 millimetres, which is about the same as this distance here. Down here. And that piece needs to be cut out too. So they're the next two jobs. But it's getting a bit late here and it's work tomorrow so I might give this a miss and get back to it tomorrow night. So off camera I've made up this disc which is basically just a a press fit or a push fit in there. If when we cut this I need to do some other operations which I'm not sure about yet but probably I need to bore these for magnets at some later date when we work out what magnets we need and probably we need to keep this steady while we put the, the bolt holes in here then we've got that disc in there to, to keep it all rigid and we can clamp it up nice so that's one job I've also bored, I've also marked these out. This needs to be machined off to that that mark there, and it needs to be cut through to that line there. So that's basically our finished our finished size there, like that. So that's the next job is to set this up and I think I'm probably going to set it up we're going to try to set it up in the in the milling attachment on the lathe and mill these corners out first mill this one and this one and then we might just cut that and file them up so that's the next job so I've got that set up so I've got that set up there and we're taking a bit off it. Uh, we've just got the a little end mill in the in the collet there. It's a bit of a task, but 
We're about halfway there now and I'm taking another cut. Not very much at a time. So anyway, after a lot of messing around, I've got that down to size. I've got to do something about this knob on this. Um, this is just a pain in that. It's sore fingers because this isn't real good to hang on to. And it's not particularly easy to control. What I'd like to do is, I think, put a, a hexagon piece sticking out here that I can put a ratcheting ring spanner on is probably the nicest way and that way then you can take it off or you can leave it on anyway that's another project that I've thought of because winding that up and down is just hard work anyway I've worried through this and glued it up again and this is right down as to the point that it needs to be and it's nice and square I think and I ended up draw filing it off a bit as well just just cleaning it up and I've marked these here this is where it needs to come this piece needs to come out of the center with a hacksaw and then a file up so that's the next job so here's a tip put this far enough down in the vise that when it comes through you don't actually cut into the side of your lamination there and stuff up all your good work. Just leave a bit of... A bit of meat there to clean up with a file, not very much. So that's the bits cut out. I, um, I guess the only job to do in this video still is to give these a good clean up down to 10 mil nice and square and I'll do that off camera and we'll have a bit of a look at it. So as someone commented hand filing is then and it is a bit I really enjoy handwork after thinking about stuff all day and I filed these up to fairly parallel and nice they might still need a dress up on a there's not a lot of rock there but a bit of a dress up with an emery stick or a piece of wet and dry on a flat surface mightn't hurt and that's what the magnet looks like I've still got a drill holes and tap them in here to hold it into the the base and I've also probably when we finish and make sure it runs I need to bore some holes in here to sit some magnets whether we put them in there or whether we actually put them in the base here I'm really not sure yet but that'll do for this video and thanks for watching uh, I'll post some more soon next week I'm off to Tasmania for the for the week for some annual leave which will be really nice so you might get a video from down there and if I don't post anything next week I'll be back the next the week after but thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff more soon.